Good evening, everybody. This is Scott DeCamp with Catchmark Sportsnet, and I can hear your Montague volleyball <laughs> teammates <laughs> screaming in the video studio right now. Sounds like they're having a good time. Hope you guys do too in our podcast. This is our Montague Volleyball 2023 Media Day podcast. Not really season preview since you started your season over the weekend last Friday, but just to talk about the season, talk about last year and everything. And without further ado, let's introduce our guests. We have junior Jalen Sundberg. Hey. Thanks for being on. <laughs> senior Britta Johnson. Hi. Hello. And then senior Alyssa Wynn. Thanks for having us. Of course. You guys need to relax. It's fine. No problem. This is just a conversation. So um, last year you guys were 24, 25, and 1, but you always play a tough schedule. So, you know, you do that to get better for the for the conference and then obviously for the tournaments that you guys are in, state tournament especially. But um, you finished 8-2 and two in the West Michigan Conference, uh, Lakes Division, uh, second place. Ludington won it last year. Um, and you guys, I expect you to be in the mix again. Um you got to the district finals, lost to Fruitport. Um, just first off, we'll start with you, Jalen. What were your memories of last season and what really sticks with you? What was the biggest um, learning lesson, I guess? Um, well, last year we would always have a really big problem with, like, our attitude or energy. And this year it's already, like, a lot better and it's improved a ton. And so that's just been really good so far. And what do you say, Britta? Um, well... From last year to this year, I think we've not only improved like individually, but also as a team, we've kind of grown more since we had younger people last year coming in as like freshmen, and now they're like some of them are sophomores, and they're like one of our leaders on the team, like Reagan. What do you say, Alyssa? Um, we lost a lot of key players from last year, but I think the people that stepped up this year definitely stepped up just already for the first few weeks of this. And uh, what's your do you have any regrets or proudest moments from last year? What what really jumps out to you in terms of that maybe that one singular moment? Um, well, even though we lost that Fruitport game, I thought everybody did like really good, and like we all played together really good, and I think it'll be a lot better this year too. Um, I think that as of last year, like the Fruitport game was really hard on us and. I mean, we all, like, put in the work and tried, but I think we're starting early and realizing that we could be really good this year. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to add there? No. Yeah, make sure you speak up into the mics when you're no. talking, too. I know it's hard to remember that because you're not used to being on a podcast. I'm, is this your first podcast for all you? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. No, it's cool. It's fun. Um, so media day so far, what do you guys think? What's been the highlight so far for you guys? it's just really fun like all the videos that we've been taking it's been really fun and I like how like we're all together and everyone's just having a good time yeah that's what it's all about Mm -hmm. it's like I'm we got something wrong here Courtney levels too low what does that mean does that mean we can our level maybe a little low but we should be better now thanks Courtney that was uh, digital media specialist Courtney Jimison saving the day again. So if she wasn't around, I'd be messing everything up. I already kind of <laughs> do. So, so no, but um, what is um, – were you expecting anything out of Coach Bechtel, any kind of dances or anything during media day? Did you see – did you get what you wanted yet? Or are you still kind of a little disappointed in that and his, his performance today or what? I'm still waiting. Yeah, for he him. said he's going to be in the TikTok. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah? He, he's mm-hmm. definitely yeah. a goofy guy, so I think that he'll, like, not disappoint. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you guys yeah. know what you're going to do? I think so. Yeah. Okay, don't ruin it. Down. We don't want to ruin it for your, <laughs> yeah. for your audience. Surprise. But, um, so who is the biggest clown on your team? Britta. Yeah. Britta. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not even, me. like, on purpose. She's just a little slow, so. Yeah, I'm just – I'm not – I would say I'm slow, She's but slow. like <laughs> I'm just yeah. yeah. Give me an example of why you would say that. Um, she, she's like the person that like you'll tell a joke and then like five minutes later she's like oh and then, and then start laughing. laughing. Yeah. What did I do? Oh, last year with Jalen's oh parents. Gosh. No, this explains how I'm really slow. So I grabbed like a salad and she's like, why don't you just like put it on a plate? Because it was, like, it, spilling yeah, over the Yeah, it was side. spilling over the sides. And so I just set the bowl on top of the plate. Instead of dumping. Yeah, instead <laughs> of dumping. <laughs> so, yeah. She's not slow on the track. I will say that. I've seen her run. Yeah. So. She's a fast little girl. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you talk her into playing softball or no? No. 
Sadly. If I play softball, I'll be an outfielder. Can I need the action. Would she take your spot? Yeah, I know you don't play no. outfield, but. No. No? She wanted to take my spot. <laughs> Do you do anything in the spring? Um, you all club. all volleyball all yeah, the time. Oh, yeah. Busy volleyball. with that. That's cool. She's that volleyball girl. <laughs> So who is the brainiac on the team? Like, who's the smartest person on the team? JC, JC, JC or Joel? They're so or Jordan. smart. Jordan's, oh, Jordan. Jordan's in there too. They oh, carry our academic. Team GPA? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They they academic all state them. team. Oh yeah. yeah, they got like a four point five. Like, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> <They're really smart. laughs> How would you describe Coach Bechtel? Um, he's just. Like he could talk for hours. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. he could talk he's, to himself for he's hours. Very talkative. <laughs> yeah, very talkative. Um, he's really like caring. I'd say, mm -hmm. for like other, not just our team, but like other players, also. Like he's just kind of a caring person. Yeah. So just in case um, viewers didn't get the whole audio experience from earlier, I'll just kind of have you introduce yourself again. Sorry about that, but I'm um, just go around around the table here and introduce yourself and then um, just tell us a little bit. Tell us name, uh, position, grade, and a fun fact. Ooh. Putting you on under pressure now. Okay. You don't want to go first? I can go first. Okay, you can go first. Okay. Um, I'm Alyssa Wynn. I'm a libero. I'm a senior. And fun fact. I hate frogs. I don't know. I'm like yeah. deathly afraid of them. No, yeah, it's bad. It's really bad <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm Britta Johnson. I'm a senior. I'm a right side hitter. And my fun fact is I won state in track in our four by two team. So the plug. <laughs> yeah. I'm Jalen Sundberg. Um, I'm a setter and I'm a junior. My fun fact. Um, I have two ferrets. What are their names? Brennan and Dale, like from the movie Step Brothers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're gross. Yeah. No pet Sorry. frogs? I love them. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No. Not a ferret person either, though, aren't you? I am. They're so They're, they suit Jalen, though, for real. Yeah. <laughs> so will they get, get you in trouble, or do they get in trouble at home? They're naughty. They chew everything. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you had them? Like three or year, four years. That's pretty cool. That's unique. You got any? What kind of pets you guys got? I just have dogs. I got I got some dogs. My dog's crazy. <laughs> we just my dog eats chickens. What? <laughs> yeah, mine is, like attacked like chickens one time. Yeah, he doesn't do it anymore. He's trained. <laughs> oh. I just got a puppy. Oh wow, man, that's a lot to manage. Two ferrets and a puppy now. <laughs> He's so cute though. It's a black lab. He's like ten weeks old. He's adorable. What's his name again? Bo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, this year so far, you're one, one, and two. You played in the Coopersville invite Friday, I believe. Um, tell me a little bit about that performance. Was it what you expected? Was it, you know, where, where did you rate that one? Um, I def. Mm, actually, I don't know. It was like our first time all of us played together, and we played really good. We didn't have that many wins, but. We split with Cadillac, but one by points, and then split with. Cadillac's usually pretty good too. Yeah, mm -hmm. like they were in. They were in the finals last yeah. year. Yeah, yep. and we split with them. Split with. I think it Forest was like Hills Hills. Eastern, Hills. Yeah. Eastern or something yeah. like that. Yeah, but we played really good. So. Yeah, it definitely shocked us. Like, yeah. I was knowing that like we had like some returners and some like key players that were returning, but I didn't realize that they'd step up by that much. So it was kind of cool to see. But, like, I definitely think that we played better in our beginning. And then once we sat a little bit, we kind of got, like, a little cold. Yeah. But then once we got warmed up and, like, always our second sets, we usually won. Because we're already going. Yeah. What are your other big matches coming up? What are the big tournaments or events you got coming up? We have Fruitport, yeah, Coopersville. Fruitport, Coopersville. Um, oh, wait. Do we have another Fruitport? I don't know, but I think one of our toughest weeks, we have Whitehall and Ludington, like, the same. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, that's a tough week. Yeah. And yeah, homecoming. Yeah, and oh, yeah. homecoming that weekend. Oh, yeah. Weekend. That's a busy week. Yep. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's definitely one of our busiest. So, um, two of you, obviously, will be wrapping it up in this gym. And um, is the new gym coming next school year? Or when's that going to be ready? year after. It's oh, years. so you're all going to miss it. Mm -hmm. Are yeah. you frustrated about that? Or, yeah. or do you kind of enjoy playing in the gym you're in? No. It's not I that bad. Like it. Yeah. 
I'm so, I was so excited because I thought I was gonna, I was gonna be able to use it my senior year. I mm-hmm. think they're still I shooting for next year though. Yeah, like I just don't think it'll be done. Yeah, she might have a little insight. I'm not gonna say why or how, but she <laughs> might have a little insight <laughs> to that. <laughs> so, um, could you please, any of you or all of you, do a Sean Bechtel impersonation from the sideline, like what he does on the sideline oh. when things don't go your way? Ooh, there's there's just like them. moves he does. <laughs> yeah. Can you show us? I don't know if it'll pick up like on the, the screen. Cross of, well, you like the cross see it. Or like, the like when you win a point, he's like, boom. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. He does the whole like uppercut. Like, <laughs> yeah, he does do yeah, that. Yeah, do the whole uppercut. Yes. Or during a timeout when he's you come on over. One, like, on one yeah. knee. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He gets loud. And he'll sit down on one knee. Yeah. Yeah. In the huddles, yeah. He gets a really quiet, though, at times when he's, like, trying to talk. Mm-hmm. And there's times that he's really loud. It's kind yeah. of funny. Yeah. He doesn't what, really what, have an in-between. No? Mm-hmm. It's either all you know, yeah. dialed up or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what are his famous sayings or whatever that you guys hear him say all the time that you might Definitely mimic like, him on? Give me push-ups. Yeah, give me push-ups. Yeah. We did like, like 100 push-ups in practice oh Yeah, I swear. We did so many yeah. at and 7 in the morning. Nowhere, too. 7 in the morning. No, it was because our miss serves from this yeah. weekend. We kind of had a But lot. he'll do That's it at okay. random time. You yeah. guys have an early practice? We did. We did today. today. 7 to 9. Yeah. He's, he's not putting you through two days, is he? No. no. Thank God. All right, good. We're lucky for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. So um, if you could give a shout-out to any of your teammates now, who would you, who would you give the shout-out to and why? Oh, um, Ari's watching. Oh, oh boy! Oh Coach is watching through the door. Oh um, probably Jordan. Yeah, she, I was thinking that too. I think she's brought so much to the team this year, and she really stepped up. And she's playing so good. Oh, yeah. she can do she's it all. So good. Yeah, she's, she yeah. can do it all. She's really been talking on the court a lot. Yeah, yeah. she's, she's really, really stepped helped. up as yeah. a leader. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um. Also, like, Reagan Cedarquist has definitely stepped yeah. up since last year. I know last yeah. year she saw a little bit of playing time, but, like, not as much as she does now, and she's really stepped up for it. And same with, like, Ava Pumford. She's been out a lot last year because she had, like, a concussion and stuff, so she's really stepped up too. Yeah, and both of them have just really, like, connected with the team yeah. a lot more yeah. this year. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think year. as a team we all, like, stepped up a lot yeah. since of last year. So among you three sitting at the table, I want you to each take your turns – Talk about the other two. Say something really nice. Say something that might embarrass them. Just a little bit, but not too mean-spirited. Uh, don't do this to me. <laughs> I'm not going first. I need uh, to think. Um, Brenda, you go first. Okay, so, so i got to say something Say nice something about nice about each of them. And then right. say something that maybe other people don't know or maybe might embarrass yeah. them, but not too much. Yeah, don't. Let's, be, let's not be too mean here. <laughs> Give up too many secrets. This is a oh, PG boy. show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Well, something really nice about Alyssa is that she's a good, well-rounded person. She'll always be there for you no matter what you do. And she's just, like, me and Alyssa got really close last year. I spent most of my, like, summer with her and fall, and we got really close last year. And she's a really well-rounded, caring, loving person. And she even brings it onto the court, like, she definitely has connections with people that, like, you can just tell, like, she'll do anything for them. And then something embarrassing. Okay. Something embarrassing. Or a, fun, or a funny moment. Funny moment. Oh, my gosh. Funny moment was when I, I was think at you, I think Jalen just thought of something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Like, in volleyball? Doesn't like, matter. No. <laughs> there was Can one. be anywhere. Oh, boy. Um... There was one time that we were in her room and she was talking to me. I have a video and she was talking to me and then she just stopped talking and be like, oh, wait, <laughs> never mind. I didn't want to tell you that. I was lying. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, she was telling me a story. And she was lying? Yeah, and she completely like told me she was lying and she didn't want to tell me that. You remember this? No. I have a video of it. <laughs> it comes up all the time. Oh, I think it was, I was trying to tell her a story and I was like, wait, it's not even happening anymore. <laughs> like, I don't know what I was <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, that's All right, now about this one. Now about this one. Oh, oh. Man, there's a lot of embarrassing stories about her. Just because something she's nice. Funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> just give me something nice. Um, what is something like embarrassing about her? I don't know. Or funny. Funny. Sure. Um, something funny about Jalen is that. 
I don't know. I think it's funny when you die. I got one. Oh my like god! Like when you die for a ball, because <laughs> like sometimes you'll just like lay there for a hot minute, and you're just like, oh my gosh, I just dove for that. And then there's sometimes that you'll just get it up and you'll just go right up with it. So I don't know. I think it's funny. I laugh at it. What about a nice thing? Um, yeah. oh, I, I thought I already said something. No, nice. that's why no. I said a nice thing. Yeah. Oh, something nice about Jalen is. She's a very thoughtful person. She thinks of a lot of things, and she's very caring. Um, She's very bold, (laughs) very bold. (laughs) And I really like that about her because she'll just tell you what's up. Like, there's no hiding it. And she's very caring about it, too. Like, if some... Like, she'll put someone in her place for someone, like, on our team. Like, she's just a very loving, caring person. I don't know. That's not mean to say. (laughs) put her in her place. (laughs) Yeah. Like... I don't know what's happened before. I don't know. She definitely put me in my place. <laughs> All right. Now, since we're uh, fresh with this and she has some good ideas, go ahead, Jalen, your turn with your teammates. Okay. Well, I have the embarrassing Speak thing up. about Britta. But oh, boy. I'll say something nice There's, like, first. a lot of embarrassing oh, stories about me on this team, though. Um, something nice. She's always, like, talking on the court. Like, if not just, like, calling mine, but just, like, hyping people up and being like, guys, come on, even if she gets, like, mad about it sometimes mm-hmm. gets yeah. a little too into it yeah yeah I just hold that <laughs> something embarrassing yes on um, Friday at Coopersville there was a serve <gasps> oh my gosh oh there's my a God. video of this and it's on film and it like went past her head and she like turned around to call it out and she like spun in circles or something yeah. no I did like, it was like <laughs> but like I was last minute was that so I just weird. turned my like head. she almost like passed like it looked like she was gonna pass out was it was it a knuckler or was it just coming in pretty hot? It was, it was coming in yeah. hot. Like it was girl could serve yeah. hard. Like it was right at my face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, dang. All right, Alyssa, your turn. Oh, she has to. Oh yeah. Me. And it, yeah. Oh yeah. That's I right. I'm sorry. I still I know. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have nothing about to think you. about you. I was just going on the fly. Um, something nice. Like I put you guys on the spot, so yeah. in fairness. Mm-hmm. It's gonna take me a minute, but something nice about her. Um. <laughs> she got to think about it a little bit. <laughs> She'll always, like, even if she comes to practice, like, mad, because she doesn't want to be there, <laughs> she'll always, like, put effort into it. Like, even if you can tell that she doesn't want to. <laughs> yeah. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Alyssa's going to learn to resent this uh, yeah. podcast. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't even have any. Don't you don't have, we don't have to push it. No, that's fine. Can't I know wait. Alyssa can't wait yeah. to talk about you guys. Yeah, maybe if she, while well, she's talking, I'll think about it. And then go. I did have an embarrassing one about you, but I forgot what happened. Yeah, yeah, I what didn't. was that? Mm. I don't know. You guys don't for real do anything embarrassing. I feel like it's always like me. I'm oh. like doing stuff. Okay, a nice thing about Jalen. <laughs> wait, no, I'm going to do embarrassing first because then I'll forget. Um... What was it? Her freshman year? She, like, couldn't serve. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, she could barely make it over the net. And <laughs> so, like, when she, day. like, she would just serve it, like, right over the net. So it was, like, a short serve. And, like, she always got aces from it because, like, she couldn't serve over the net barely. Like, and then. would go crazy if yeah. made it. And then somebody, I don't know who it was, like, taught you, like, how to serve it, actually. And coach was like mad because she was like yeah. cute. Yeah. She always she gets aces. Yeah, not, not, like, yeah. She used to be a weapon. Now yeah. she's not anymore. Yeah. I don't remember who it was. Yeah, I don't either. Nope. <laughs> that was some <laughs> um, something nice. Um, I think she always pushes us to give us our hundred percent all the time, even at practice. Yeah, and, and you can tell when she's like not having it because there'll be times on the court like. Today in Butterfly, we were, like, oh. playing, and she just got bored, and she just started moving around. Oh. And coach is like, see, guys, this is what happens. You need <laughs> to get effort. a pass. Yeah, you need to get a good pass to let it go. And then Britta. Um, I don't have any embarrassing, I feel like. I guess. <laughs> Britta's just so, like, clueless that it's just funny all the time. <laughs> like, every like, moment. it's not even embarrassing. Yeah, yeah like, like, every normal. moment yeah. with her, she's just so clueless. It's, it's okay. Um, <laughs> and Britta is always in a good mood, I feel like. There'll be a few times she's not, but she always has a po- positive attitude, and, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's just... I, I'm shocked you don't have an embarrassing story about me. I, I feel do. like I, I can't have think too right many now. of them that, like, mm-hmm. were just, like... 
I can't think right now. So before we uh, sign off on this podcast, what are your closing thoughts or goals for the season? Expectations? Um, beat Lovington. Yeah. Um, I think for districts, we'll probably have Loyal in the finals. So I think we can make win it districts. this year, yeah. Maybe make it to regionals mm-hmm. and see how yeah. that goes. I don't know. I feel like always t- for like our goals, it's kind of like I won't say it's like up in the air, but it's kind of like like we know what we have to look forward to, and like yeah, it's a goal to win, but like we're always like always looking forward to the next. Like yeah, we have an end goal, but I feel like it's always like a goal for like each week we have. Mm-hmm. We don't have just like one big one. Like our, yeah, our big ones like obviously to get far enough, but like we have a goal each week. I feel like. Like, next week, our goal will probably be, like, to do good in, like, our tournament. Or, like, yeah. What about you, Jalen? What do you think? Oh, um, well, Britta just kind of said it. <coughs> oh, <shoot. laughs> Hopefully that wasn't loud. Um, yeah, our, like, we don't really have, like, a, a goal for the season. Like, obviously, it's to improve. But it's always, like, each week we have something new or something that we have to improve on, not even just as a team, but, like, individually. Like, Mm -hmm. last year, last season, we would, like, come in and meet all together, and we would have, like, goals for ourselves and then goals for our team, and we'd all talk about it, and I like that. Yeah, especially with, like, our blocking. Like, Mm -hmm. our blocking hasn't been the best recently, but I know that's, like, a goal that we've, like, that's our goal for, like, this upcoming, like, scrimmage that we have on Wednesday is, like, our blocking. Like, I think Bechdel's really good about, like, putting goals each week that we can, like, look forward to that will give us, like, the big, like, end prize. Yeah. Which is, like, the championship. (laughs) End prize. (laughs) (laughs) Like, the championships, like, I don't know. That was kind of weird how I said that, though. Not the championship. I don't know. know Yeah. Yeah. You guys kind of get that? (laughs) (laughs) All right. I think that's a good place to end it on a positive note there. So... Thanks a lot for joining me. Uh, This was the Montague Volleyball Podcast from Media Day. Jalen Sundberg, Britta Johnson, and Alyssa Wynn. I'm Scott DeCamp with Catch Mark Sportsnet. Thanks for watching, everybody.